They've had plenty to cheer about down in ASEAN when it comes to girls' basketball. Over the last three seasons, Norwell has gone 63-6. and six. A big part of that, the big talent on the inside, senior Jessica Rupright, who signed with Miami of Ohio last week. Rupright and the Knights ranked third in 3A tonight, hosting rival Bluffton. And Rupright doing just what she does, gets the rebound, gets the putback, gets the foul. She would have a big night for the Knights. And then Knights on the fast break, Taylor Wilson lays in two of her team high, 19 points. But Bluffton trying to do their best, but it's hard to... Stop the three point shooting of Paige Frisch as the Knights were rolling in this one. Rupride finishes with 10 points as Norwell rolls in this one 74 12, the final. I'm guessing she didn't get a lot of run in the second half. Yes. Same. <laughs> At Southside, Archers just missed out on the SEC title last year tonight. Juanita Goodwell's team hosting Carroll. First quarter action, Jomani Thomas to Brittany Clopton. That's a bucket. And then Thomas says, you know what, I'll just go ahead and do this myself. Carroll, though, coming back and trying to do it with the three ball. Marissa Hill from outside the stripe knocks it down, but too much south and too much Ariana Simmons. Good soccer player, too. Good all around athlete is Simmons. Then it's Lake and Gully from downtown and south side. A big winner at Don Reichert Memorial Gymnasium, 76 to 46. What do you say we go to Bay Hay Arena? North side looking for win number one against East Noel. Kerry Schrock inside to Jamie Wolf. For the bucket, Northside counters with Armani Jackson Freeman. Freeman he rolls it in from the top of the key. The Redskins offense rolling in this one. Zorana Lintzker, she pulls up, nails the three. East Noble trying to keep pace in this one, and they would do more than just that. Carrie Schrock inside to Courtney Edwards as the Knights get the win in this one, 72-45 the final. Final stop in girls basketball down in Decatur. It's Belmont playing host to Jay County. Jay County's Cassie Hemmelgarn putting up the basket right there through the lane for a couple, but the Braves inbound and they drew it up well because Taylor Cooley comes in with the basket right there for the squaws. Belmont's Michaela Quinn, the mighty Quinn, popping it from three right there. Jay County's Leanne Horn would answer with this shot. Belmont's Allison Gutierrez coming up with score a bucket for Belmont. This one would actually go to OT, and it's Jay County edging Belmont by three, 39-36.